good morning, good evening, good afternoon, year 10. I am so sorry, I've been trying to do this video for you for ages. Um, and I've just, I've not been able to, I've been trying to edit it because I've got so many different bits and bobs going in. Um, it's been quite difficult. Uh, and then I ended up deleting everything. So um, I'm doing it this way. We'll see how it goes. So what we've had to do, guys, we have had to, our device and drama, our NEA, which stands for non-exam assessment. So it's our coursework. Um, we've had to park. Okay, all of you, I've got something from all of you for our portfolio. I'm not worried about our portfolios. Um, and when I look at, um, and I'm not really worried about our devising drama because we were three weeks away from our performance. Um, and we've got the bulk of our portfolios done. Okay, so, and obviously when, whenever we go back, I will factor all of that into our planning. What I do want us to crack on with though is our, um, because was it we're coming up to Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so if you're watching this, it would be today, tomorrow and the day after. Um, we would be doing our performances and we'd be done dusted and actually looking in the drama teacher forums, we're ahead of so many other schools. Um, so. I really don't want you to panic. So we're gonna park it, okay? We're gonna park it for a moment and we're gonna get cracking with our, um, with the next part of our course, okay? Which is component for the written exam. So we're gonna start having a look at that. Um, that's why I've been asking you to watch Blood Brothers on YouTube. Now, ideally I want you to get the play. Um, my book I usually I carry around everywhere with me hang on a minute no that's not it I carry around with me everywhere two copies of Blood Brothers so I have two copies that are mine that I carry around everywhere um, and I've managed to misplace both of them um, I've gone to buy it again on Amazon um, however I have bought them out of Blood Brothers books because I have got some um, I had ordered some to school, um, literally just before we went into lockdown, so that um, I could have given some of them to some of you. Um, if you are able to afford it, I would buy, go and see if you can get it from Amazon. It is a red book called Blood Brothers, right, and it is by a dude called Willie Russell. Yeah, lots of you will have done our day out in English, okay, right, we'll see what we've got here in a minute. Lots of you will have done our day out in English, okay, and that's by Willie Russell, he is a Liverpudlian, um, Liverpudlian playwright, and he wrote um, Blood, 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 I'll put my teeth in and start that again, he wrote Blood Brothers, manage that time um back in uh the early 80s it was first performed as a school performance in 1982 okay um so yes the play is older than me thank you estorado and um he it was then transformed into a musical because he wanted it to um he wanted to write a musical he writes quite gritty um what we te we kind of call it as a kitchen sink sink type of drama and it's quite gritty about um regular people and the struggles it's quite political blood brothers and it's about the struggles that uh, mickey goes through as a working class boy growing up in the 1980s um well late 1970s 1980s in liverpool um so Willie Russell, Blood Brothers. Um, if you look on Amazon, it's a red book with black writing. That's the one I use. Um, I wanted to show you that, and I have been searching and searching everywhere, um, but I don't know where mine has gone, and it's a little bit concerning. I bet one of them is at work. 
which is annoying. Now, I've done a little PowerPoint because I want to talk you through. Um, I want to talk you through this written exam. So I want you to watch it. And if you are able to go and buy the book, if you can find it somewhere and get it, please do. You, you will need your own copies, really, because you can make notes and things in them. And it will really, really help you. So this week, I want you to carry on read um carry on watching it on youtube and see if you can get the book sort of this week and next week i know they're a bit slow and like i say i know um i have a funny feeling i bought amazon out of their blood brothers books um so let's have a look at oh no go away right so let's have a look. This unit is called Component 4, Performance and Response, and it's your written exam, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. I've got an example here, all right? So, okay, I'll just cover these up. So it'll look like this. Okay, this is um, a mock exam, all right? So this is, yeah. Well, this is a real one. This is what they did last last year. All right. So it will look like this. Okay. And then it's split into two sections. All right. And we're currently looking at section A. So you've got... Um, it's all about how you would perform it. So, for example, this question is... Um, from the list below, select the character from the performance text you have studied. Now, there will be lots of plays up here, okay, lots of plays at the top. We won't study any of these. We study Blood Brothers, okay, so you don't write about any of these. You only write about Blood Brothers, okay. There will be some of you in here that tell me at some point, well, I didn't know the answer, miss, we haven't studied Death of a Salesman. We don't. We study Blood Brothers, so I'm expecting you to write about Blood Brothers, okay? So, this is the sort of question. From the list below, select the character from the performance text you have studied. Describe two ways an actor playing this role could deliver the line effectively in a performance. Okay, so you've got Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Lyons, who's one of our characters. They, they say that if either twin learns, he has one... He was once a pair, they shall both immediately die. And you need to, um, that is a four mark question, okay? You need to say, okay, a way that the actor would use their voice to say the line. So you say two ways and two reasons why, and it's four points, okay? So it's split into, you've got section A that has got, an array of different questions and they go from those questions through to longer ones so you've got eight questions okay and you're expected to spend about 55 minutes on that and then at the back you've got section B okay which is the live theatre evaluation all right we will look at all of that later um, so this Sorry, guys, that's my hand covering it up. All right. So, when does the written... So, some questions you might have about that is, when does the written exam happen? So, the written exam happens um, at the end of year 11. Okay, so it happens in the May time um, when everybody else is... Like, when all the other written exams happen. Okay. Um, how long is the exam? It's an hour and a half. Okay, so it's an hour and a half. 55 minutes on section A and 35 minutes on section B, your evaluation, okay? Will I get my extra exam arrangements? Now, some of you, not all of you, but some of you will have extra exam arrangements. And yes, this is where you get it. Drama's a funny one because you don't really get your exam arrangements um, or your extra time and stuff in kind of the practical element of it. Um, but... Um, yeah, you do here and I will because I have extra time um, and 
I actually, not many people know, but I'm entitled to a computer in exams. So I go through with those of you who do need it. Um, I know which ones of you do, so don't say, oh, miss, I have, to, I have it. Um, I know which ones of you do, and w I will be telling you the timings that you need to spend and how to manage that time. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, I will share this with you in the Google Classroom. I will share this PowerPoint in the Google Classroom because on this slide is everything we're going to do in section A. So we study the whole performance text and we study the development of drama and performance. Okay, I, this is where I don't, we can get quite confused with English literature. My mum's taking the dog for a walk. We can get quite confused with English literature. So with English literature, you're studying the text. Here, we're studying the text as like to perform it. Okay, so we're looking at what do we take away um, and how would we perform it and why, not just why did Willie Russell write it this way. Okay, we've got to marry them both up and say how we would bring it to life. Um, so that's, that's what we should do. Okay. We've got here what we should know and understand. Okay. So we need to know and understand in relation to the, to the performance text, to Blood Brothers, the context of the text, the characteristics of the performance text. Okay. Um, like it's genre, structure, characters, form and style, the setting, plot, subplot, dialogue, stage directions, um, how meaning is communicated through the use of performance space, uh, relationships between the performers and audience, right, and the design of, okay, the performance text. Now that would be, we will be looking at designs they or that have already happened and also coming up with our own ideas because they will want to know our ideas okay not mine yours they'll want to know why you want to design it a particular way we also need to learn about the theatre now we've already started looking at this um, a lot of this there will be stuff in this that we've done already in devising drama so there will be stuff that we will have learned for our devising drama that will come through into this OK, so we will be looking at contemporary staging and staging configurations, the role of theatre makers in contemporary professional practice. OK, so costume design, actors, choreographer, director, lighting design. We've done a lot on that already. OK, you've got a knowledge organiser on it, guys. Acting skills. OK. So we will look at blocking, characterisation, improvisation, vocal techniques. Um, we will do. I will do some videos on those as well, but that we will also do when we're in school. Um, whenever that is, that's when we kind of need to be. I will try and do some videos on those um, bits and break it down for you. Um, the design and use of set. Okay, and we need to look at different types of sets, such as composite set, non-naturalistic sets. The development of characters through the creation and use of costume, hair, makeup, masks, um, the performance elements, okay, performance styles and the features of a performance text. Oh. Hello, you're back. So, and the features of a performance text. Now, um, we will learn this here. We will also need this when we go on to our... Um, the plays that we perform for the visiting examiner, okay? Um, so this is the one we write about. We will do little bits of performances, but this is the one we write about. We do another play that we will, we will perform bits of. You'll do a showcase to show your skills. Okay, and learners should be able to, okay? So you should be able to define the context, explore and identify characteristics of the text, Select examples from your own practical work on this um, and be able to talk about it in your exam. Show that you have knowledge and understanding of the whole range of the play. 
identify different genres and the genres particularly used here because there's several obviously it's musical but there's other bits going into it okay um jonah you liked Bertolt brecht because you really liked his cigar there's a lot of brechtian stuff in blood brothers um identify how meaning is communicated within the performance evaluate the roles of theater makers within this um stage advantages state the advantages and different uh, the advantages and disadvantages of decisions made by directors actors and designers um, and apply your knowledge and understanding of drama just drama in general but also blood brothers okay now this written paper i don't know if you can see it's 40 percent okay your devising drama is 30 percent your play that you showcase and perform is 30 percent this is 40 percent of your mark okay so this is stuff we need hello sorry i got overexcited and touched the screen so we're studying blood brothers make sure you highlight it here and also write it here when it comes to your exam. Now, um, I want you to finish watching that dodgy copy on YouTube, okay? And if you can get the play, well, the script for the musical, I want you to get the script. The other thing you may want to get, now I have got, those of you that I know, um, I know some of you will, will not be able to, oh, that's an inspector course, we don't want that. Some of you um, might not be able to afford your own copies and stuff. Um, I've managed to sort some things out. So um, don't worry, if you can, please get your own. And also, if you wanna get a study guide, okay, you can get these on Amazon. They're like three pounds and they're called, you've gotta make sure you get the one that says GCSE drama and the play guide, okay? Um, there is an English literature, it is also an English literature set text, but remember the way we approach answering some of the questions, there's lots of similarities, and this is where we can get really confused, there's lots of similarities, but also the points are in where the big differences are, so make sure, I, I use this for ideas for teaching guys, okay, um, so, and we do have some somewhere school on parent pay and I think I was selling them for £2.75 but we can't get school to get them so I would see if you can get these on Amazon okay it'll really help you if you can't get the script this really is the next best thing and then we can sort out scripts and stuff when we're back okay all right so um yeah missing you all guys um i was really excited i'm going to be a bit gutted actually i hadn't fully twigged that um actually i think i had in the back of my mind that it would be our performances um and i was really really gutted really gutted but um we'll be back we'll go we'll see it we i don't want you guys to panic because we are ahead um i'm actually i'm not panicking i'm just sad because i don't get to see you but um, we are ahead of um, lots of other schools because we've got performance pieces. All we need to do is have a couple of weeks, just solidly focus, bish, bash, bosh, get an audience in. Um, we will, it will now be a little bit different how we arrange it. Um, I still get your parents in, but it probably, we may only do, we may split up the group so that we can get that social distancing in um so that your parents can see it i want you to do it in front of an audience instead of doing the three nights you'll probably just do one night and we'll have two groups on one night two groups on the other or we may do even we may even actually do one group a night i'm just thinking out loud um but we'll get something done uh, whenever we're back um and we'll get it bish bash boshed okay Hope you're staying safe, staying in and washing your hands because some of you are mingers. So make sure you're washing your hands. OK, and um, making cups of tea and things, especially you, Jonah. Mum would be really stressed with work. So go get her a cup of tea OK, or a glass of Prosecco. All right. So all of you for people at home. 
get them a cup of tea or a beer or something just surprise them with it okay so hope you are staying safe and washing your hands cheerio year 10 bye